हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर शर्मिला शंकर ए क्लिनिकल न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट एंड एन आयुर्वेदिक फिजिशियन फ्रॉम आयुषा आयुर्केर मलेश्वरम बेंगलोर When we are talking about whole grains in our diet, a grain is considered as whole or complete only when it it has all the three parts of it. The outermost part of the grain is called as a bran, which is rich with uh, fibers and uh, nutrients. And the inner layers are called the germ layer, and the innermost layer is called as uh, the endosperm layer. These are also rich with nutrients, but not so rich with fibers like the outer bran uh, part. so when a grain is being milled bran part and the germ part has been removed and what is remaining is only the endosperm part and which is not so rich with nutrients it's rich with carbohydrates but not so rich with other uh, vitamins and fibers so the major part of nutrition is lost in milling and uh, what we have is a refined one for example when we take brown rice and the white rice the brown rice is the whole grain which is rich with bran and the uh, germ part and the white rice uh, the outer covering has been milled and uh, what we re- uh, have is only the carbohydrate part that's remaining and there is a major difference in nutrition when we consume whole grain and the refined grains whole grains will give us lot of fibers which will help in keeping our intestinal uh, tract clean which is uh, the very basis for uh, maintaining good health and when we take refined foods uh, we can find lot of people with allergies and uh, digestive disorders and uh, constipation and dryness of the intestines and blockage of the intestines and lots of other conditions associated with it hence proper usage of whole grains is uh, very much recommended um, even in ayurveda as well as in western nutrition